Today, we're gonna to be showing you five more products you could be selling on Amazon today. All of these deals are online arbitrage deals, so this means they come from online retailers. And this means you don't have to spend huge amounts of funds to get started, and it is by far the best method if you do wanna become an Amazon FBA seller. So all these deals I'll be showing you today come from something called our deal of the day feature. This is where we send in one to two deals every day for profitable members to give them inspiration on the types of deals out there. Where should they be looking and what should they be looking for and so on. So quick disclaimer before we do start, we do have quite a lot of people who see these deals. We have over 5,000 members in our Discord. So although we say you could buy these, just to use them as inspiration so you can learn the types of products to sell or just learn brand new websites to source from because there's so many websites you can be using for online arbitrage. And as always, if you did take any value from this video, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help. But let's get into the video. So first up, we have a product from Boots, and I'm sure you're familiar with Boots. You could actually, you could potentially buy this in store, but they have a much larger catalog on their website. This product is in a deal at the moment, so there is actually an extra 20% off, and it's also a three for two offer. But we can buy it for 12 pounds, but it means that our unit cost would be eight pounds with the offer on, with the three for two, and it's selling on Amazon for 17 pounds at the moment. So that's always the first thing we're looking for when analyzing any potential FBA deal. Can we buy it for a lot less than what we're gonna be selling it for? So buying it for eight pounds and hopefully selling it for 17 pounds. Now we've got the profitable data on the screen just here. We can see it selling 50 times a month and it's given us three pounds 67 profit per unit, which means 46% return on investment. And the return on investment is always the metric we look at as opposed to the profit, just because it depends on how much we're buying the item for. Three pounds 67 profit isn't bad on this, but if we were spending 50 pounds on an item, it wouldn't be so good. And that's why we look at the return on investment because that works out the exact same way, no matter the price of the item we're buying so yeah 46 percent return on investment and there's only four other fba sellers on this listing so not too much competition overall now if we were actually going to buy this item we would go into a lot more deal before analyzing we check stock levels we check price graphs but today's video is just to show you the types of deals you can be sourcing for your amazon fba business so that's the first one let's get into product number two so product number two is from the range and it's this poor patrol pop-up game which we can buy for six pound 49 on Amazon, it's selling for £15.99, so well over double the price. Realistically, when sourcing products, it has to be over double the price for you to make 30% return on investment as a minimum after your fees. Now, let me run you through the data on the profitable Chrome extension again. So with the buy price of £6.49 and selling it for £15.99, it means we'd be making a 60% return on investment, £4.10 profit per unit, which is really good. And look at these sales, really good sales, 81 sales a month. It was slightly more FBA sellers than we like normally on this listing, but we didn't have too much in stock. So this deal overall looked like it had really good potential for Amazon FBA. Now, before we did get into our third deal, I did just wanna let you know about an exclusive discount code for Profital for our YouTube viewers. If you don't know what Profital is, you've obviously seen it on the screen already, but we have a deal analyzer, but alongside our deal analyzer where you get the Chrome extension and the mobile app, we also have a deal finder and we have a wholesale scanner and just the most amazing Discord community full of like-minded people. But we'll make the discount code pop up just here that's going to save you either five percent on yearly plans and yearly plans already have over 50 percent off so that's a 55 percent saving or 20 percent on monthly plans you can also find the discount code down below in the description so now on to our third deal and this one is from the website bargainmax.co.uk so you may not have heard of this website before but it is good for online arbitrage and this product is this Avengers four figure for £5.49. So this is a discounted item. It's usually £15, but we'll head over to Amazon where we can see it selling for £18.99. So that means it's making an amazing 139% return on investment, £7.64 profit per. Now, realistically, there's a good chance this price will drop. Obviously, you're gonna to start to get competition on the listing if you were to buy it. And the way to win the buy box is by being the cheapest seller. So that's why prices do drop but if you've got a really good profit figure to start with it gives you so much wiggle room to be able to drop your price and still make a profit now onto our fourth deal and we're heading over to morrison's and hopefully you can see the pure variety of websites which we use to source our online 
arbitrage deals, doesn't matter if it's a toy store, doesn't matter if it's a supermarket, there really is potential deals out there everywhere if you know what to do. So this product is this Pantene Pro V Smooth and Sleek 3-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. So there's a deal on at the moment, so it's two for five pounds. So this means our unit cost is gonna be two pound 50 each. So we'll head over to Amazon and show you the exact same product where this same product sells for £8.58. So we buy it for £2.50, we sell it for £8.58. This was a slightly slower seller than we usually like with only 21 sales a month, but it wasn't too much competition, only four FBA sellers on the listing. And look at this return on investment, 112%. So that gives us a £2.79 profit per unit. Not every product has to be a high seller. As long as competition isn't too high, you can go for slower sellers. Realistically, if you are starting out and you are new to Amazon FBA, you do want items which are selling faster just because you don't want your cash stuck in Amazon's warehouse. And when I say cash, I mean stock, because obviously if you've got products stuck in Amazon's warehouse, that's money you have tied up in stock, which you can't use to buy more products. So realistically, when first starting, you do want slightly higher sellers. But as you become more experienced, you can start to sell items which aren't quite as fast selling. Now, moving on to our fifth and final deal, and we're on another supermarket. So this one is Tesco, the largest supermarket in the UK, but Tesco is brilliant for online arbitrage. Also great for retail arbitrage as well. The only thing with retail arbitrage, because you're going out to the shops, sometimes we find in Tesco, we find it really hard to get signal in store, which makes it hard for retail arbitrage. So that's why we prefer doing online arbitrage on Tesco. But this product we have is this Matzo meal, 375 grams for, for £2.35 each. Now heading over to Amazon, we can see it selling on Amazon for £7.35. And by now you may be wondering, why is everything more expensive on Amazon? And realistically, it's just for convenience for people. They don't want to go into Tesco and buy one of these products. They know they can buy it from Amazon and they'll get it next day without leaving their home. So people are simply paying for the convenience on Amazon and they're happy to do it. And as well as that, they know they're getting great service with Amazon. If they have any issues, they get free returns. They're gonna get their money back without issue. So that is why people pay more money on Amazon. So this product, again, not a crazy seller, 26 units a month, but it was a great return on investment, 77%, £1.81 profit per unit. Five FBA sellers, and between them, they had 15 in stock in total, so not bad, they should sell out within the month. So another deal there with potential for Amazon FBA. So we hope that's given you some great insight into the types of deals you can actually be selling on Amazon here in the UK if you wanna do online arbitrage. Now I know I made that look quite easy when it comes to sourcing products. Please don't think finding products is easy. It is by far the hardest part about Amazon FBA. But as with anything, the more time you spend doing it, the easier it does become. When starting out, we wouldn't recommend to buy too many different product lines. Just start with quite small quantities as well. You don't want to go too mad. Amazon is complex and it is going to be a lot for you to learn. So the chances are you will make mistakes on your journey. That's why you don't want to be investing too heavily when you do start. But that is all for today's video. We hope you've found it interesting. We hope you've taken value from it. If you have, as mentioned before, if you could hit the subscribe button, it would be really, really appreciated. But that's that's all from me now. We will see you in the next video.